Hey guys, what's up? Check this out. Sophos Access Point. It's a Sophos AP15C. Brand new in the box. Bought this on eBay. Uh, 30 bucks free shipping. Uh, made an offer. The guy originally wanted 50 bucks, so I offered him 30 and accepted. So, here we go. Yeah, if you've been watching my previous videos, then you know that I've, I've built a couple Sophos firewalls. I've actually been using uh, Sophos when it was actually a Starro. Uh, before Sophos bought out of Starro. Um, Alright, take a look at this. So, yeah, in my last build, um, I actually had the integrated access point. Let me bring that up so you can see it here. Uh, over there. See those two antennas on the top? Well, that actually, that is providing wireless, but it's not providing a good enough signal in the back part of my house. So I wanted to run a wire through there into my attic and down to where I need uh, some, some additional um, wireless coverage in the back rooms. So I am a cabling contractor, so I have all the tools to run the wires. It's not even a big deal. So, um, All right, so let's take a look. So this thing is actually not the latest technology. It's not wireless AC, but it does 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, um, but it is about 300 megabits. So it doesn't have like the double MIMO technology and that kind of stuff, wave technology. Um, but one of the unique things about these APs is they're not really like your typical AP. Um, they're actually designed to work with the firewalls, like the firewall XG, SG, or the uh, UTM. And um, they're actually, like in Cisco, Cisco calls it lightweight access mode, where the actual access point is sort of like a dummy access point, and it's controlled by a wireless controller. So the actual firewall controls all the policies, you know, VLANs, all that stuff for this device. So nothing, there is no web GUI, you can't log in this thing directly and program it. All controlled by the firewall. So, alright, i got to run a wire up to the, my uh, spot, and we'll get this mounted and we'll get it configured. Alright, cool. Alright, yeah, if you guys are ever wondering how we get the wires in the wall, those are called fish sticks right there, that little fiberglass, they're kind of like a tent post. Alright, I hope you can see that. That's where the wire comes in right there, over the, the fish stick. And it goes all the way right there, so... I mean, I do this for a living, so it's probably easier for me. I've done this a thousand times, but... <clears throat> so yeah, that way I don't think I actually even climb up in this attic. I can just pull the wire right through, right to the spot that I need it. Pull this through. That way I never have to get up in this attic here. You can see the wire wire coming through. It's a brand new Cat6 wire. It's going to be going to the access point. Alright, so now that I have this thing mounted, the mounting plate, I'm just going to pull up the wire. I got the right. J45 plug on. But yeah, I just pull up the wire up and I twist it on like that. Alright. Alright, there it is. So, I mean, I always prefer a direct wire. So all my main stuff that I use, my computer, so everything's actually direct wired. But uh, the only things that are going to be connected to this are like tablets, cell phones. Laptop maybe, just uh, basic internet browsing stuff. No real big file transfer, so. Um, yeah, I always prefer direct wire. All my TVs are direct wired. Everything's direct wired. All right. All right, so now it's gonna push on that white wire. And the patch panel. And that is a Cisco 3560 PoE switch, gigabit. Had that for probably about five, six years. Long time now. All right, yeah, still gigabit, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm powering uh, IP phones, obviously the access point, this PoE. Alright, so, so if you actually have a, a managed switch, like this Cisco, make sure you have the right smart port rules signed. Or your AP uh, might not like it. Like I've had it where it's, when the phone, the switch is configured for an IP phone, it will only allow one machine past it, so... Kind of odd setup, you know, like only one person can connect to the access point at a time. There it is. Obviously my wiring is okay. I'm getting PoE now. I'm just going to see if the thing is powered on. Alright, got some lights. Alright, so now that your access point is fired up, uh, you got to make sure it picked up an IP address. So log in a DHCP server and do a look at your leases and AP15C, that's my access point. So Gotta make sure things online, and now go back to wireless protection. 
And I actually already have uh, the integrated access point, the PCIe Express card configured. Um, but let me go back here first. So in global settings, you got to make sure your internal network or whatever network your access point is connected to the network, make sure that's actually permitted here on the allowed interfaces. And then go back to access points, and then you should see this pending access point right here. So when the device boots up, it's going to actually start looking for a UTM or some kind of SOFOS firewall. And uh, there we go. And yeah, you say it's group. Uh, I'll take a new group. We'll just do test. And we'll do this. I've already created a couple different networks. And we'll do 2.4 gigahertz. And we're going to only have this 2.4 gigahertz. All right. And that's it. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so we got the test. That's how I'm running the screen on the interface. And All right, so my access point's still inactive. Uh, just a reminder, um, when you first connect this access point, it might do a firmware update. So if for some reason that's not working, just to check check on your access point, make sure it's in a firmware update, because if you unplug it while it's in a firmware update, you could uh, destroy the access point or brick it. All right. All right, so the access point is doing a, done doing a firmware update. And so now you see green in here. So back in access point before it says, before it said inactive access point when it was doing the firmware update. So now it's doing that. Overview, grouping, green, 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 wireless networks. All right, let's see uh, if we see this thing on my cell phone real fast. So I have it assigned to FinTech 2.4 gigahertz AP here. Hope you can still hear me. And there it is. I can see the network right there, if you can see that. All right, so now we're connected at uh, 72 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz. So let me uh, go back and I'll do the 5 gigahertz network too right now, so. All right, so now I have my cell phone connected uh, to my new access point at 5 gigahertz. Uh, not connecting very fast, so I'm gonna try to figure that out, but also have a Dell machine that's connected to my internal PCI Express card. So in one of my other videos, I actually built the computer and I, I put in a PCI uh, Express card, a wireless card, a thorough space wireless card. And that's actually what this is connected to right here. So I have a dedicated, this, I de dedicated that radio to 2.4 gigahertz. So, all right, pretty basic, you know. The hardest part was just running the wire and that only took me, you know, if you had the right tools, it took me about 15, maybe 25 minutes probably. Um, all right, guys. Cool. Cool, cool.